Coming to you from the second floor of the Norris University Center, this is the Daily Northwestern's Women's Basketball Roundtable with beat writer Robbie Levin and editor Danny Daly and myself, Brian Chapata. The women had a tough week on the road this week, losing big both at Illinois and at Michigan State. Um, Robbie, just what happened and what needs fixing? Well, um, it was kind of a different story each night. Um, at Illinois, Jenna Smith, uh, Illinois star center, just shot the lights out. She made her first 11 shots. Northwestern went down, I think it was 18 to two or something. Just, you know, they were, they were down all night. Against Michigan State, um, the Spartans, who are a team known for their physicality, uh, ev everyone I talked to on the team on Northwestern said Michigan State was the most physical team in the Big Ten. Uh, that Michigan State's defense forced 13 turnovers in the first half. Uh, Northwestern went to the half down by 11. They played the second half pretty evenly, but uh, they were just uh, down too deep. Um, so I think there have been some bright spots. Uh, Kendall Hackney has played very well. Um, but they just need more scoring from people other than Amy Jeschke and Kendall Hackney. Like against Michigan State, uh, Brittany Orban, who's their second leading scorer, had no points. So they're going to need more from her, uh, maybe a little more from Daniel Diamant um, off the bench. But uh, Misha, Misha Reed's been good off the bench. But, you know, maybe just some more scoring from some of their, uh, some of their bench players. And in spite of everything, I was impressed with how Amy Jeschke played this week. Yeah. Scoring 25 points against Illinois in, in a game that, that that's half her team's points. You know, I think the rest of the starters combined gave them nine. You know, so, so that was a game, and, and as Coach Joe McEwen said afterwards, that he just kind of threw out his, you know, he went and wrote on the board, Michigan State 2.30 uh, Sunday. Just He said the team had been playing too well at that point to kind of let that yeah. judge him, that that was just kind of an anomaly. And then let's also face it, the Michigan State game wasn't too big of a, of a surprise um, because, as we've said all along, Michigan State's not a good matchup for them. And, and they did cut the score, um, was it down to four or something like that in the second half? Yeah. It, 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 they'd cut it kind of close, but, but that wasn't a game that you would expect them to win. So I think they were hoping for a split. It was disappointing they didn't get a split. But now they've got a chance with three of their last four at home to to kind of make a little bit of a run, finish out strong. Yeah, you mentioned the, the two home contests this week. They got Indiana, and then they have Iowa. After taking uh, two be two beatings on the road, um, do the Cats have it in them to sort of bounce back and get these two wins? What are your predictions? I think they do. And they, they played Indiana and Iowa close uh, when they played them on the road earlier. Th those are two games that they definitely could have won, uh, certainly the Iowa game, and then the Indiana game is, as well. Um, they are going to need more out of, uh, out of Beth Marshall. You, you mentioned Brittany Orban. I think Beth Marshall offensively needs to step up a little bit. She had, a, she had kind of a strange week. She had five steals in the first mm -hmm. half against Michigan State. You notice that? that was, uh, that's kind of bizarre. But, um, but, yeah, I mean, and that would just allow defenses to stay more honest, as we've been saying all along. But ultimately, yeah, I think they've got a pretty good chance, certainly to split, and, and if they play more like they did uh, – two weeks ago rather than this past week. I think they've got a shot at a sweep. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you never know with this team, and um, it always comes down to the wire. So you can – I would, you know, say if I was a gambling man, I'd say these games are both probably going to be decided by 10 points or less, more likely five points or less, and they're going to come down to the final couple minutes. Um, I think there's a pretty good shot they'll get a split, um, and if they play really well, I wouldn't be surprised if they swept these two games. And the situation, you know, like um, th they have played teams well getting them the second time at home. You know, we, we saw that against Minnesota earlier this season. You know, they, they see them on the road there, they play yeah. them close, Minnesota yeah. comes yeah. back, beat them yeah. at home. Michigan, beat them on the road, they come back, they take care of business at home. So that's, that's one thing that Coach McEwen and, uh, and the players and everything, they've done a, a good job of kind of they see that team a second time at home they do what they need to do. All right, that's all for this edition of the Roundtable. Check out Wednesday's paper for a long-form feature on Beth Marshall, and for comprehensive recap and analysis of the games this week, check out dailynorthwestern.com.